hello everyone my name is key light and welcome back to my channel so today's lesson is going to be healed by faith last week we said delivered from fear so we have these synonyms in a way delivered healed going hand in hand and then the cause and effect from fear to faith what does it mean to have faith what does it mean to believe in something that you have not seen yet but you know in fact that it will come true make sure you like comment and definitely subscribe let's get right into it so today's scripture is going to come from matthew chapter 9 verse 18 through 26 and you all know i read from the message bible and of course I do look at a commentary to just give me some insight onto the lesson. So we're going to first start out with some background info. So this lesson in particular is going to be based on the second year into Jesus' ministry in the village of Capernaum near the Sea of Galilee. You remember the last lesson, we talked about the Sea of Galilee representing our emotions, how sometimes we might be scared, not have enough courage. Well, now we're going to get into Jesus having all the courage in the world and having a lot of popularity, even in his second year of telling the gospels of God. He is going to get people who are going to praise him, travel from all over the world to hear him speak. But just like he got that popularity, he's also going to get people who do not believe in him, who are jealous of him, who are envious of him, of spreading the word. And which is quite ironic, most of the people that were haters, that were hating on God, they happen to be in religion as well. Religious leaders, in fact, did not like Jesus at this time. So he goes to show you, when you're doing something right, you will still have people that will try to destroy you, that will try to bring your spirit down, that will try to have you walk in fear instead of faith. But Jesus doesn't let that deter him. He's very much well aware that people do not like him. And some of the reasons why these religious leaders did not particularly enjoy Jesus was that Jesus treated everyone the same, equal. It didn't matter how much money you have. It didn't matter on tradition or this is the way it's always been done. You can only be saved if you're in this hierarchy. He did not care whatsoever. He healed anyone and everyone and he let that be known. So this scripture today is going to go into that where Jesus is not only going to walk the walk, but he's going to talk the talk. And he doesn't care whether some religious leaders do not like it at all. And he's going to show and prove. And we have to be just like that. We got to show and we got to prove. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into our first chunk of today. So first, we're going to get into Matthew chapter 9, verse 18 through 19. As he finished saying this, a local official appeared, bowed politely, and said, My daughter has just died. If you come and touch her, she will live. Jesus got up and went with him, his disciples following along. So here we have Jesus at the height, not even at the height of his career, but he is very well known at this particular time, okay? And we have this man coming in saying, my daughter is dying, I need you. I heard you're the man that I need to come to, help me out. Did you notice Jesus didn't ask for an insurance card? Jesus didn't ask for social economic status. Jesus didn't ask for traditional beliefs, religious beliefs. He took on that weight and let it be known, you guide me and I will follow. That's what we have to remember most importantly. Jesus is not going to ask her all those prerequisites. He's going to hear you out right then and there. And it doesn't matter what you've been through who you know, how you know, how much you make. He is going to take it and he's going to say, let me know what I need to do. That's the assurance we need. 
And let's look at it on the other perspective of it. This father had so much faith in Jesus, a man he probably never met firsthand, but he had so much faith that his daughter who had passed away because sometime he had so much faith that he believed that his daughter would live if he just got Jesus to step in. If he just got God to step in. We have to think like that. We have to have faith that a situation that might be dead, that might be lost in the gutter, we have no hope, just like this daughter. We have to believe that God can step in and make it come alive. That's what faith is about. When something you know most people will not understand, but you believe that it's going to come to pass. Some people like to say manifesting, meditating, making sure to do daily affirmations. You need to do that. You need to have that constant faith every day, believing in something that you cannot see, but you know that with the help of God is going to work out. Now we're going to go to Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 through 22. Just then, just then, a woman who had hemorrhaged for 12 years slipped in from behind and lightly touched his robe. She was thinking to herself, if she can put a finger on his robe, it, it'll get well. Jesus turned, caught her at it, then he reassured her, courage, daughter, you took a risk of faith. Now you're well. The woman was well from then on. If you know anything about the artist, Kirk Franklin, he has a song famously, Let Me Touch You. This is the highlight scripture of that song. So now we have jumped ship with another person believing in Jesus and the miracles that he is performing every single day. This woman comes in, she has an issue with blood. They say that she's been hemorrhaging for 12 years. Years. Can you imagine having your cycle for 12 years straight? But she believes. No one thinks this is possible. If you were to ask somebody, could someone heal you just by touching the bottom of their dress, touching the bottom of their skirt, touching the bottom of their pants, you say, are you crazy? But no, this woman didn't think she was crazy. She had faith. She believed in something that no one else could see. She believed that she just touched him, that he would be healed. And right before she got a good tug on him, he said, courage, you're healed. Can you imagine that you have been doing your affirmations? You have been manifesting. You've been meditating every single day. And you get that opportunity and it says, you're healed. You're done. You're good. That's what we have to believe. Just like that woman. Who would ever believe that she will be healed after bleeding for 12 years straight. She did. She had faith. She was healed. Can we be like her? Can we have that faith to know that we will be healed even though everybody else might not think it's possible? Go against the odds. Now let's go to our last little chunk, which, which is Matthew chapter 9. Verse 23 through 26. By now, they arrived at the house of the town official and pushed their way through the gossips, looking for a story and the neighbors bringing in casseroles. Jesus was abrupt, clear out. The girl isn't dead. She's sleeping. They told him he didn't know what he was talking about. But when Jesus had gotten rid of the crowd, he went in. He took the girl's hand and pulled her to her feet, alive. The news was soon out and traveled throughout the region. It's amazing. When God clears the room, when you clean out that closet, when you clean out that junk, when you clean out that mess, it's going to work out. It will be healed. When you clear out the negativity, when you clear out the constant clutter, the constant frustration, the constant negative thoughts, God is going to work it out, you guys. He's going to clear it out. He's going to clear the room. That's the thought to remember. Clear the room so that you can have faith. 
so that you can finally believe. If you got to let go of that social media for a week so you can clear the room so God can work it out, do it. If you need to clean out that closet, clean out that house so then finally God can work it out for you, do it. If you got to clear out friends, family members, just so you can have a clear mind, do it. Because God is going to work it out if you just have faith. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Until next time.